Hi, Adam here from Salon Business Secrets and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you just how simple it is to get signed up, set up and start taking bookings with K1 from Kitomba Software. In less than 15 minutes I'm going to show you how you can sign up, add your treatments, add your staff, set your working hours and be able to take bookings online. Yep, real online bookings for your salon or beauty business and I'm going to do this all in real time. This video is part of Software Month at SalonBusinessSecrets.com and the Beauty Business Podcast. And if you want to find all the articles in the series and the links mentioned in this video, go to www.SalonBusinessSecrets.com forward slash software. Now, while I'm talking, we're wasting time, so I will remind you of that web page and link at the end of this video. Let's get on with it. Okay, so now let's get started showing you how to get set up and up and running with Katomba. Um, or K1 from Gatomba, which is that online system. So first of all, you should know if you follow the link that's on my page, which probably brought you to this page, but if you found this just by looking through YouTube, the link will be in the description just below. If you click on those links, um, you will get my promo code, which means that if you sign up for Gatomba, not only will you get the 30 day free trial, but if you do then decide to continue using it and become a paying customer, you'll get your first two months for free so in total you'll get three free months of Gatomba which is absolutely fantastic so let's get started first thing you need to do is put in your first name now I'll be setting this up as a fake user so I'll be going for Andrea Smith who's the owner of the salon and then we'll go for the business name and it's calm beauty and hair Phone number of the salon is 0141-123-45678. Email address is going to be andrea at salon no, uh, beauty business podcast com. Choose a password. Make sure that's relatively secure. Okay, leave the promo code in there. That's how you're going to get your extra two months for free if you choose to sign up. Okay, so we get going and... So we then get this page, which is great. It asks you what you're going to be setting your business up as. So it gives you the choice of hair, beauty or both. Now, this uh, salon that I've decided to create is called Calm Beauty and Hair. So I'm going to go for both. And what this does is it actually sets it up for you with all the general settings in there that's best going to match your type of business. So you don't have to set every single thing up in the first place. It also loads a bunch of uh, common treatments and services into your system for you. Now it's asking me if I'm going to be sending out text messages. Um, I'm going to choose to send my appointment reminders by SMS. Reason for that is, although there's a cost involved, the read rate of text messages is far, far higher than emails. Next, it wants to know who my staff are. So it assumes that Andrea actually works in the salon. In this case, she does. So my next member of staff is going to be, uh, let me just think of some names here, uh, Jen Thomas. Um, and then we'll go add another person. So we'll have three therapists and we'll have Leah Chambers. Oops, let me put that in the surname. Charles. And we'll go with just those three. So we'll then go to the appointment book. Okay, so straight away, it's taking me to the appointment book screen here. Again, it comes up with a nice help screen over here. I've got Todd seeing if uh, I need any help. I'm just going to click on X to get rid of him for now. Now, if I want to make a booking in here, I simply just can click and start the appointment process, which is absolutely brilliant because I haven't even put any treatments in here. It's filled in a bunch of treatments for me based on the setup that I put in in the first place. So I could go to massage, I could choose a full body massage, and it's already got that treatment in there. Now, obviously, it's not going to have my correct prices, um, but it's, it's just great that you can actually log in, have the system up and running, and start playing with it and giving it a try straight away without having to fill in a bunch of details to start with. So you can really get an idea of how it's going to work for you. So if I wanted to do that, I simply just click on save and that's just booked that in for me. It's not put a client name in there, which is another nice feature that you can, you can literally just book out time if you want to. However, I can uh, click on that again and I can go, right, I can search for a client if they're already in the system or I can click on add a new client. And in this case, I can put in, let's say, uh, so Katie Musgrove, um, email address is going to be 
kmusgrove at hotmail.com. Um, phone number oh, 7788. Uh, mobile, and she is female, and she's having that. And I'm going to put that in there. And that will then update that with Katie's details. And now she is booked in. Cool things you can do around here. You can just drag the booking around and move it and do whatever you want to. Now, if you want to go and change those services so that they do match your actual treatments, you can click on here and you could go to the services that you do. And here's all the things all nicely categorized for you. So if I wanted to go into massage um, and let's say I wanted to change that full body massage, it's not 45 pounds. I actually, sorry, 40 pounds. I actually charge 55 pounds. So I simply just change that there. Click on save and straight away it's already changed in the system. Any ones that I don't want to do. So for example, if I go into foil highlights and I don't do them, I can just click on foil full head um, and then choose to delete that treatment. It'll just check, delete that and now it's gone. So dead easy to do that. Now then, if you want to check out your online bookings page, all you need to do is go over to settings tab here and you will see some account details. And then if you just go to online booking over on the left, and this is where you can set up and change things about your online booking page. So for example, you can choose to show your prices or not. You can show staff first names only or full names. Lots of things you can change on there. You can add your description about your business. You can upload a banner or a header image. You can choose the actual um, overall color of the uh, thing. So let's say for example, I wanted to go for more of a, a sort of a purple look, I'll do that. Change some of the image designs that's on there. So let's say I like, ooh, let's go for a paper look, I'll do that. I can save those changes. And then if I want to actually see my online booking site, I can click here and that will immediately take me to my booking site, which I can obviously link to and send my clients to. That's loading there. Straight away, I've got Calm Beauty and Hair, phone number for my salon, and if I want to make a booking, I would simply go to book now if I was a client and I would then choose what I want to book. One nice thing is it brings up the popular treatments that are there for your particular salon or I can click on all services. Here I get a list of everything. So if I wanted to go and book a facial, click on facial, I'll go for the standard facial. I will select that. I'll then click here on choose a time. That will give me the time that's available. So if I go for Wednesday the 24th and I'll go for 11 o'clock. I'll then click on continue. That's when I then have to log in um, as the user and, and make the booking. But what's nice is you can log in with Facebook um, and complete that process. Now, I'm not going to do that, but what would happen then if we go back to the actual appointment book is I would immediately see that booking appear on the day that I'd made it for, which would be on Thursday. It's not there because I didn't complete the booking, but it's an incredibly simple process. So that's how you get started with Katomba. You get your treatments in there, you change your settings, put your prices in, you can start playing with it straight away. And obviously as soon as you fire a few bookings in there, you can start to play with the report side of things. You can start to um, obviously add in any products that you sell look at the marketing capabilities of the system. You can link it with MailChimp. Obviously you can send out the text messages and really get a feel for how it's gonna work for you. But remember, if you sign up with the link in my article or in the description below this, you will not only get the 30 day free trial, but you'll also get your first two months after the 30 day trial for free when you sign up as a paying user of Katomba. Okay, hope that helped you. Okay, so that's the end of a very, very brief introduction to Katomba, just showing you that you can sign up and get set up and start taking bookings both in your salon and online in less than 12 minutes. So if you want to sign up for Katomba and give it a try, don't forget to use the codes either in the description below this video or if you go to www.salonbusinesssecrets.com forward slash software, all the links will be on there. And that will mean that you get not only the 30 days free trial, but if you do decide to sign up as a customer, you'll get an additional two months free usage of Katomba, which is fantastic. Okay, I hope that helps you all. If you have any questions, please do send me an email at adam at salonbusinesssecrets.com. Thank you very much.